Hello everyone. This is Sue Broom and I'm going to be doing the weekly angel card reading and then I am going to be bringing on our special guest Joan of Angels and I'm so excited we'll be with uh, we'll be together until about noon today. It's yes, it's 11 a.m. in sunny Arizona. So, I am going to do the recording. Remember, I do the recording from um, a different screen, so I won't be able to see people popping on. Except now I can. Hi, Denise. <laughs> so um, I'm going to pop over to do the recording. I've already pulled the cards, um, but I will be right back. And of course, it doesn't look any different. Talk amongst yourselves. Hi, Belinda. <laughs> Okay, so we've been holding our intention for the week of March 5th through 11, 2018, that we are all receiving the exact message that we need to hear for the entire week. And again, I'm also, I'm using the Miracle Messages deck by Joan of Angels. And that description as to where you can get your own deck will be in the description of and details. So the first card for us is Angel of Love. Oh, wow. And I'm, I don't know if you're feeling the energy. I'm feeling the energy because I'm also wearing one of Joan's scarves, the Joan of Angels scarf, which those of you that are joining us live will get a, a lovely hysterical laugh out of it once I am popped on back over there. But it says, fluff your wings, dear one. You can do this. I am always with you. And, you know, so many times we forget. Yes, we forget that our angels, the angel of love, is standing so closely that if we just stop and take a breath, we will feel her love. So this is a reminder for all of us. And there's there's so many things that are going on in the world and, and so many of us are looking at the world through these jaded lenses. And let's take them off and see the world through the angel of love's eyes and feel that love. And no matter what it is that's going on around us, feel the love that's coming from the angels but also the love that's at the center of who we are and expand that feeling. So angel of love. Oh, can't wait to see. Now, remember the second card. I was pulling three cards and the second one came right along with the first one. So this card really wanted to come out. Crystal City's guidance and spiritual mastery be prepared to be amazed expect miracles and i'll tell you how i want you to say expect miracles and i think that we should all do this well i'm not going to do it right now because i'm in a kind of in a tiny spot but leap up and down and say i expect miracles I have a, a post-it on my microwave that says, I expect miracles today. Yes, I expect miracles today. And be open to the miracles. Now, remember, because with the angel of love, we can feel the love. And allow that love to expand within us. And the more that we feel the love and expand it from within, the more miracles, I got to do these the opposite way, the more miracles, the more miracles surround us. Okay, so let's see what the third card is. Golden aura. Extra special energy surrounds you now and is assisting in your transformation. Breathe it in. Now, if you look at all of these three cards together, I'm trying to pick them up so you can see them all. Yes, it's perfect because the more we call on the angel of love, the more we are expanding love within and allowing the love from the angels, from our loved ones, from other people. And the more we expect miracles and also allow the miracles into our lives. We want to be reminded to breathe it in. 
and we can feel the extra special energy that is surrounding us. And the more it surrounds us, the more we can feel it and we can expand it and others around us can feel it. It's going to be an awesome week, everybody. That's for March 5th through 11th, 2018. My name is Sue Broom, and I do these weekly angel card readings. And again, I did say I was going to put this in the details, but it's the Miracle Messages by Joan of Angels deck that I'm using. And I'm going to hold this so you can see that right there. Awakening, Awakening to Miracles 2018. And it will be in the details. So have a fabulous week, everybody. And if you want to put your comments in the comments below as to how this plays out for you in the week, and actually you might want to replay it later in the week to see how it is playing out. And let me know in the comments below. Have a great week. Angel blessings to you. Thank you. All right, everybody. Oh, I'm back. Hi, Susie. Hi, Catherine. Hi, Grace. Belinda. Yes, Joan of Angels. Hi, Sue. Cindy. Raina. Nicole. <laughs> Jacqueline. Denise. We got all kinds of people. So that was awesome. I'm super excited. I'm super excited and I am going to be bringing on Joan. Now today is going to be just a little bit different than, than you guys um, have seen in the past because Joan and I are going to be, um, we're going to be chatting a little bit. We're so excited to be doing this. And then Joan is going to be using her deck of cards. I do not have my own deck yet, but I know that Debbie would not mind Many of you know Miss Debbie. I'm going to be using the Zebu angelic symbols. So when we do readings, I'm going to be using these. Joan is going to be using her latest deck. And um, there's going to be a lot of fun learning. <sighs> learning! A lot of joy, a lot of miracles that is going to happen. And you can feel the excitement that's coming from me right now. So without further ado, I am going to bring Miss Joan on. Miss Joan, I can see that she's getting ready. And oh, and I'm using new technology, so bear with me. <laughs> She's the countdown has started. There she is. Hello, everyone. You're doing great, Sue, with this angel technology to spread our messages around the planet. Absolutely. And and do you want to tell everybody the funny story about our uh, about my scarf? Okay, guys. So, want you to know something? I love Sue. She invited me to present at one of her events, and it was really powerful. And one of the things is we talk about the vibration of everything, the vibration of your clothing, of your home, of your body, of your life. And we did all these experiments to show what happens when you walk in a room of, say, at the grocery store, and what happens to your energy and how you could protect it. And so I showed everyone these great scarves. And Sue has one of them of, of beautiful Krishna with his with his flute. Anyway, this right before the show, I get this message to wear a scarf. Actually, my sister said, Joan, you're gonna wear a scarf. And I grab this one. And I and I hear Sue calling, Where are you, Joan? And I hop on and we're both wearing the same scarf. So guys, that tells me not only is Krishna present, but so many divine beings, all of your guides are here. And we are going to have a good time. Absolutely. It's so fun. It's, it's a, and, you know, the energy just builds the energy because, uh, like I said, this is new technology. So beforehand, it's like, oh, my gosh, I can see Joan. She's, she's already on. She's in. It's called the lobby. She's in the lobby. It's like, Joan, can you see me? It's like, oh, no, I got to put myself up there. Anyway, funny story. But just so, so you know, the first time I did it, I thought I was doing an Oprah show because my dream had always been to have my own show like Oprah. And have, and so, you know, you have a lobby of guests. And so I even said it on the show. I said, I feel like Oprah. I have all my guests lined up to visit with you and I'm juggling them. And I just like it. 
I think it's a fun forum. I love it. I and, and I'm putting a message out there. Thank you, everybody, for sharing this on your Facebook page because it's you know what? It helps spread the message of angels. It helps spread the message of Joan of Angels. It, it just, it helped. I mean, and it, the cards that I pulled, it's all about the expansion because it's not just Joan and I are these two enlightened beings. It's like, no, we all are. So thank you for sharing that on your Facebook pages. Okay, Joan, you got something to share with us. So I'm going to um, take your name away. So I think it's bigger. Oh, no. Yeah, I think. Okay, let's see. Let's see what you got. No, but I, but you said, you know, something you, you talked about the very first card and I thought, OK, let's explain because everyone online wants a reading. And I'm just going to tell you that in general, this is the message for all of our loved ones. This is the message for today that yeah. let the angel of love be our our guide for each and every one of you right now. She came through with Sue in the card so that you know you've been touched by an angel right now. They say, close your eyes, feel her fluffing your wings. We all have wings and God knows we put them away because it was dangerous to be our us, but those wings, she's fluffing our energetics. So feel that. And so for every one of you, this is reading number one, like really feel that within your body. Can you feel the presence of your guardian angels on both sides of you. And so it was so cute because I have this, she just wants to talk. So is there anything else she wants to say? Sue, what else? Feel all the angels around you guys know that this is our time, all right? It, it's so funny because when I was the first message I had for everyone from her through those cards that you've been giving to everyone. Can't you feel, like bring your shoulders back, feel that, okay? <laughs> Bring my scarf so you can see my scarf. Yes, and show your scarf. <laughs> and tell everyone how you feel with it. Come on. Uh, well, I'm super, I'm super excited, you know. And it, what's the thing that is really cool though, I mean, when you when I was holding up the card, and thank you for sharing the painting, because it it almost looks like she's wearing a scarf as well. Now I don't think it is, yeah. but she's got something around her neck. Does everybody, all right, are you going to hold her up again? All right, see this? Well, I am going to hold her up again. Okay. Lots of lots of um, energetic around her. It kind of was giving it the feeling of her, her wings and her, okay, you know, furry, you can really dive into fur, feel embraced. Oh, look at her. Oh, my gosh, I haven't put her up anywhere. You can even dive into her eyes. Okay, yes. <laughs> Be embraced. I thought, I thought that was Your guardian, our, All of our guardian angels are right here with us on this show. So let's see how many thousands of guardian angels are out there surrounding us. We have a lot. And actually, um, I, I did write down some names. I saw some people um, that wanted cards. Um, but what I before we get into that, before we start doing any readings, what I would like you to do, Miss Joan, so this is the Miracle Messages deck. Mm -hmm. And this is your second deck. I would like you, to, like you to share with everyone how they can manifest this deck. Oh, wow. Well, so this is how we can manifest the deck, beloved ones. Number one. You have to first acknowledge that you are here on the show today with Sue and myself. Like all the energy that it took for you to get here to meet Sue, you know, and then to be on the air at this particular time and place, all the work that you've come to. All right. And then you have to tune in and say, Am I ready to meet the Masters of Miracles? And we call them in. I call them in every day, every night. Um, along with all my other angels, but the Masters of Miracles just want to fluff your wings and they want to give you the confidence to be you. And so once you get that, all you have to do is go to the link that Sue did and you can get the deck. And, okay, they told me to do this. And so I do readings with the deck. They're very, very expensive. But if you get the deck and you say, Sue sent me, 
Sue, 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 Sue sent me, then I'll give you 50% off the reading. So you can add oh. your experience with the Masters of Miracles. And I know there's someone on the line already who's had readings with me. And and that session will activate them. And so what can you expect? Can we locked up? Hi, what happened? Okay, are you there? It locked up for a second. Oh, okay, that happens. Okay. I'm still okay. here. I see you. I know. Anyway, masters, we bring them into your house. That's why Absolutely. we do the meditations with them. We bring them, and they're real. They yes. have energy that literally, you see how Sue can't even sit still? She's in the energy <laughs> field. They, they dance off the deck, and they keep dancing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And they seem to me spreading this magic miracle wand and seeing songs and Believe it or not, guys, I am an introvert. And every time I try to claim that, um, they just show me, no, it's time. Yeah. It's time. So they will give you the messages to take you out of your shell, fluff your wings, enhance your gifts to believe in you. Yes. Awesome. When you're ready for that, get the deck. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. So now... Like I said at the beginning, I don't know if we're going to get you know, how many people we're going to get through. We're going to because we're going to be talking in between. But I would like Joan and actually Joan and I are going to do this together. The first person that asked for a card, her name is Grace. I don't know if you can see the lineup of people, but it's Grace Klepper Ironside. She asked for a card. So I know you're using your deck. I'm going to be using Debbie Z's deck. And while we're shuffling or honing in, if everybody can send the love to Miss Grace by pushing the heart so you can see the heart, all the hearts float on the screen. Of course, we can't see that, but, <laughs> but I think you guys all can. So push the heart, push the heart, push the heart, and you can see it all line up across the screen. I did it. Okay. All right. So whenever you're ready, Miss Joan, <laughs> I'm going to have you go first. I'm so excited about doing the hearts, Grace, that I, because I just said, oh gosh, all we need to do is send her love, surround her with. Love. <laughs> also, my guide say, just remind her that her name is Grace. <clears throat> and I wonder if that's the whole message. No, they have more to it, but uh, Sacred Kingdoms. Right now, master teachers are giving you the keys. And this is for Grace and everyone. Sue is a master teacher. I am a master teacher. We are calling them in. Um, you have wisdom to share. So you're, Grace, they're infusing you with sacred wisdom, activating your sense of knowledge to remind you that your special gifts are, they're refining them for you, receiving the instructions you are, and they'll download it while even while you're sleeping. What do you get, Susu? So you have wisdom to share, love, Grace. She does. And you guys, you can tell, like, I'm kind of playing with the screens so you can see the cards as we're doing them. So, all right. Ooh, order out of chaos. Now, this is one of Debbie Z's cards, and I'm trying to hold it so you can all see the symbol because you know how it is with these symbols. And I, I have to turn it around, though, because I can't, I can't read it from that side. It says, I release lower vibrational energies and savor the balance in my life. Oh, my gosh. This is a perfect message for all of us. Right. So see, the, see the symbol. <clears throat> and this is the one where Debbie has it where you can draw the symbol three times. You can draw it in the air just like Joan is doing. Or you can draw it on a piece of paper. Order out of chaos and and Grace, Miss Grace, I know you, I know you, <laughs> and I know there's a lot of chaos. So order out of grace. Uh, look at that. Order out of grace. That's funny. Order out of chaos into grace. <laughs> yes, that's it. I love, it. I love you, Grace. It's all about your grace. Oh, I love that. Is there anything else, Joan, that you'd like to add for everybody? Because I know that when we're together like this, we're forming our own group DNA. We are. And so I think that this is a real eye-opener 
to understand that right now, Sue and I are sort of, this was done in Sedona. It's the inner teachings, the teachings you get in wisdom schools and in the crystal cities. So understand as you listen, not just with your ears, but with your inner ear, that there are nuggets here that will help lift your energy for all of us, because we are all teachers. What, what we teach is because we've learned and you're learning, you'll teach in your every day. So that's really mastery is, is the key here. Absolutely. Thank you. Beautiful. Okay. My scarf is falling off. Oh no. <laughs> it's the yeah. energy. <laughs> yes. 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 Uh, for those of you that uh, didn't see, and I, ha I think I have to type it every time, but that's okay. Because well, you can actually stick it up there as agenda, but but today's not a good day to learn it. <laughs> I know I'm hey I'm doing pretty good for this is the and this isn't the first time I've used it I have used this before but um it has to work yes it's cool I it it, it is really cool and these are beautiful cards so that's the name of the deck the miracle messages and uh that's where you can get them so okay <laughs> I'm gonna switch this back all right miss Joan we have another person that would like a reading good what's his or her name this is miss brenda and i believe you met miss brenda in casa grande um during the day i believe i did miss <laughs> okay. belinda okay miss brenda miss brenda casa grande <laughs> Wow, she's a seeker of wisdom and knowledge, is what they're telling me. Oh, you seeker. Okay. So we're going to shuffle the cards, just so you know it was a full moon. And I don't know about you, but I like to turn all my cards in the same direction around the full moon, just like I put my crystals outside. I like to clean up my cards. And when you go like that, you really change the energy. So we're fluffing up. Okay, I can't read it. Oh my God, this one is the Oracle. And when the Oracle comes, guys, she's, she says, okay, um, she knows how to, she knows who she is, okay? I know who I am. Standing in your truth, proclaiming, doesn't matter what the world looks like, but it's like emerging with the wisdom that is you. So isn't that interesting? Our first card was about master teachers. Our second card, even though it's specific and you can claim this love, it's it's really about all of us claiming that wisdom inside of us and being able to speak our truth. Why? Because this is a rough year, 2018, guys. If we don't, this is the time to really develop the skills, develop the gifts, and then share them. I know who I am. I speak my truth and there's alignment from top to bottom. We've learned how to balance our body, our mind and spirit so that we are aligned with our purpose. And look, she's sitting next to the angel of love. So that is the essence of, of the message for you to, to speak your truth, but to start stepping into this alignment, let it run through you from top to bottom. All right, so let's hear your angel message. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh kindness now remember i got I'll, sh I'll show it to you quick and then i gotta read it then i gotta flip it around to, to read it it is beautiful so miss brenda and i know miss brenda you are such a kind person at at your very soul it says i bless others and myself as i express kindness freely to those around me so i tell you this is what i'm getting as i was reading that Kindness, is, yes, kindness comes from us, but sometimes there are people that we may not feel as kind toward or as loving or as compassionate. And I think what we could do, what was coming to me is you can write a situation or a person on a piece of paper and draw the symbol over it. Draw the symbol over the situation. Draw the symbol over if it's an organization, if it's, a, you know, the 
whatever's going on in the news, I don't even want to say, but you know, it can be any of that. And again, this is, as Joan is adding that, yes, there's a message in it for all of us. This, because we're all together, even though I pull the card for Ms. Brenda, this is a message for all of us. Be more kind and the kindness symbol. Oh, love that. Love it. I love that too. And you know, some days I, I raise do this wing fluffing, Sue, when I'm in the sanctuary here. And I make sure that when I go out like to Starbucks or the store, that I'm in that wing fluffed mode of kindness. Like really feeling my angelic wings and just, okay, I'm going to be kind and nice to everyone I meet today. I'm just going to make sure that they feel better because I was there. Yes. Yes. That's, that's, it's so very true because we can go out and we can feel that light within and just expand that out to other people. It doesn't matter where we are. We can be in the grocery store. We can be in line at the post office. Joan has a great story on the post office. <laughs> or we can be on the highway driving down the road. It doesn't matter. Expand the love that we are because that is our essence. That's who we truly are. These physical bodies, it's all an illusion. <laughs> It's true. And sometimes sometimes I'll find myself in a weird place and I'll say, yuck, this is awful. Why in the world I'm here? And it's all about me. Like I feel yucky. How could spirit put me in such a yucky place? And then I realized, well, Joan, duh, uh, you're there because you are to raise your vibration. Yes. Get those wings back out and bring in that energy of kindness, of love. And so that that yucky place now becomes a higher frequency because I was there. And that, I swear, is the biggest lesson I'm learning, Sue, is that honestly, it's not about how I feel today when I go out to the market. It's really going to be about how do I hold this energy so well? It's my practice. The world is my practice. Yeah, You guys are my practice. So that's going to be our takeaway. Like, let's all go practice mm -hmm. spreading kindness in your supermarket, your local stores, like yeah. see how that changes your neighborhood. Absolutely. Why not? Yes, it's and that's thank you for saying that because we can sit in our house and we can expand the love that we are within to our auras, our room, and I'm getting chills, our house, our property, our neighborhood our city, our state, and keep going as far out as you want and feel the expansion and the love. And then bring all that love back to you. And that is something that you can do every single day. Oh, love that. Oh, I, can I share something with you all? Yes. I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to, I'm hoping that you can. This crystal wanted to come play. And actually you can almost see it. There's a, there's an angel in there. Can you see the angel in there, everybody? I don't know if you can see it. I can see it. I can see it. And this is crazy because I have a crystal just like that with, Two points, two sided, but it, that is exquisite. Oh yeah. my goodness! I love this, and and it's it's funny because you know every once in a while, I will be. It's like all right, so, somebody somebody's calling me. I want to come in there. I want to come in there. It's like okay, and I grabbed another one. It's like nope. It's like it was this one because the angel wanted to come up and play. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> play with me. So I have certain crystals that I use all the time. My selenite. And my quartz, quartz. Uh, I've been tuning up my quartz to raise and raise and raise. And I sleep with my crystals. I don't know about you, but um, I sleep with some of the ones that are charged up. I'll put them on different parts of my body. Uh huh. And um, and I feel like they're talking to me all night. Oh, Diane, there's my first <laughs> I, I don't know if you've seen Diane's wands, but we are like 
She's the one, the fairy godmother. One. <laughs> okay. The most exquisite. So she's on there. I see her. Anyway. Um, hi, everyone. <laughs> Want to see and and Joan, this is this is the other crystals that I had to grab today. Now these are not the same size as yours are, but these are three three little selenite wands. They have points on one end and round on the other. Whoa, those they are want, beautiful. I know, aren't they cool? <laughs> they want us to come in here and play today. So guys, size does not matter. Just <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh, mine. We have to play on words. We have to be a comedy for spirits. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> we don't have our way and our, and our hubel foibles. We're going to trip up. But mine are a little bigger and thicker, and they feel very archangel. Her feels like they call in light and love. I feel fairy energy around them. <laughs> and um, <whew. laughs> okay. So, okay. Should we go to the next question? I'm having too much fun. Yeah. Or I'm having a lot of fun, guys. So I hope <laughs> I am here. I hope you are. Yeah. That feeling that Sue and I, in what we're doing, are sending out and beaming out very high frequencies. We may be laughing about being a tower of power, but we're not. We're really embracing it, and um, we appreciate that you're receiving it. So let us know if you're receiving that energy, because guys. Each of you can have your own home as a portal as well to do just what Sue and I are doing for your people, your friends, your family, your dogs and cats, right? Yeah. And it's it's so interesting, too, because the more people that are gathered together, feeling this energy, talking, talking about bringing in the crystals, bringing in the laughter, bringing in the love, the, the more expansive we get and the more the longer we feel. So maybe maybe you're going to feel like you're flying higher <laughs> higher than a kite for the rest of the day. Yay! <laughs> don't drive. <laughs> yeah, don't drive. <laughs> okay. Ready for another reading? I am. Who are we reading for? Okay. The next person is Denise Spencer. And just so everybody knows, I have been writing names down. I know that we're not going to get to everybody, but we have an answer for that. So. Well, the answer is this. Every tidbit that you are receiving today is, is a master teaching. Absolutely. And, it is. Uh, just because we don't have it being called International Angel School University today. <laughs> <laughs> uplifting, really. I love Sue. You know, Sue Broom, she really does whisk me around. Sometimes I, when I first met her, I, I really saw her broom. I saw that she gets to... Whisk out dark cobwebs. She moves <laughs> dark energies with that broom. And she uses the web in such a way as she gets all around international. <laughs> so, okay. All right, let's see what you get. So this is for our friend Denise. Mm -hmm. Oh, goodness. Okay, you can't make this up, guys. So the internet interdimensional angel. Oh, <laughs> Oh, perfect. <laughs> New, I, so Denise, this is for you, but actually, again, interdimensional. So what are we talking about? International. Well, guys, that is way too limiting. Start to think about spreading our ideas and our work on that interdimensional. Um, it, it's like the web, but it's not the web. It's a spiritual web. And new ideas and opportunities are coming to you thinking outside the box, mm -hmm. but I'm hearing that really accessing it through using your inner guidance, ask that spirit show you who, what, where, and when. She's laughing because it's so, it is interdimensional. Well, welcome to the Desert Heart Sanctuary. <laughs> <laughs> but that's how we access and share our work and get new ideas for expansion. It comes from those masters who are downloading information. So get your pen and paper later when you go into your meditation and write down every tidbit that's coming through to you. Yeah. Aho, off to Sue. Well, and the reason I was laughing is because I needed to hear that message today. See how this works for everybody. And, and I glance, you know, it's so funny because when I do this hour, especially this hour, the, the times that I generally catch on the on the clock on the computer, 
are always like 1111, 1122. Well, of course, when you were reading that, I saw 1133. That's so interesting. I was feeling this energy of, oh my God, we're creating like the temple, the tower of miracle power. <laughs> right here, Sunday morning. What's today's date? March 4th. March 4th. You heard it here. You are part of the tower of miracle power that comes to the interdimensional yeah. and through these connections even on the web which is pretty interdimensional guys that i'm in your living room right now or yeah. on your computer it is i love it okay now everybody and i hope the first person that we did the reading for is still here because get this the card is grace <laughs> <laughs> Can't make this stuff up. It says, I express gentleness of action through grace. So again, you know, we're doing this for Denise. That's who, that's the name. However, because we're all connected and Grace was our first person that we did the reading for. So this is, I love this. And I'm holding it up again, long enough that you can read this and write the symbol down. You can draw it in the air three times. You can draw it on paper. And of course you can watch the replay when we're all done. But yes, just like, like uh, Joan is doing right now with Grace, it is beautiful. And I feel, okay, thank you very much, Joan, because you know what you're doing? Does everybody feel the energy? You are sending Grace to all of us. I feel it. I can just feel it coming. It's actually coming. You know how you get chills so many times you can feel them top to bottom, bottom. You know, this I can feel coming this way. So Let's ask everyone to do this with us. And this is the reason. Okay. Yes. The reason is this, guys. We want to create and shift the energy within ourselves so that we can match this angelic frequency. And what Sue is showing us, I'm going to have to get this deck. What Sue is showing us is that there's symbols that call in the energies and that you could, oh, oh, oh bless you. Confirmation. Confirmation. Ooh. Pay attention. I know this <laughs> By creating this, and particularly now, we are sending that energy. We are calling it in. You can do this with me. Sue would probably, we'll see her pass out in a second from the highest vibration, but we are sending this across the planet so these are very high symbols understand that what you do with your hands guys look can you feel this we create we send energy with our words and our body and our actions so I love can, it. Oh. Yeah, great so and grace is still here <laughs> grace in all we do all right grace in all we do all right, and I'm going to put this up there. So that deck, um, you can go out and everything is, uh, I'm checking it. Here, I'll show it to you. It's, um, it's her Facebook page. It's her Etsy site. It's her dot com is Zabu Angelic Symbols. So, and a lot of times Debbie is on. I don't see, I'm look, looking for Debbie on here. I don't see her. Uh, oh, great. Much. <laughs> I, this is great. I can actually leave you and come and look and see what's happening here. Diane is mentioning what happens when you do this kind of work with her with the wands, which is uh -huh. also true. It's how do we raise our energetic frequency? We amplify it. We amplify it with our scarves. We amplify it through the art. We amplify it with the wands and the crystals. Again, why do we do it, Sue? To amplify. Why do we amplify, Sue? <laughs> to help spread the love. That's to help right. raise the vibration. To help raise the vibration of the planet. To help raise everything's vibration. That's right. To create a planet we can actually be happy and live in and, and be harmony with. And we all have a part in doing that. We do. That's what it is. That's why we came. So. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting like excited. <laughs> this is okay. Half the deck just fell. Oh, no, no. oh that's called 52 pickup. <laughs> this is the big, this is, this is more than 52 though. I think this is 88. 
Guys, the first card game I ever lost officially when my mean cousin <laughs> said, you want to play this card game? Oh, that's so funny. Okay, so just so we know that you guys are all having as much fun as we are, if you guys can do the hearts again so we can see the stream of hearts float through. And I, I can't. Yes, absolutely. So we feel empowered to be kooky. <laughs> we can do whatever we want. <laughs> okay. Like, oh, ooh, like people are, okay. And so what okay, what do we want them to tell us? Tell us you, you are feeling the energy. Yeah. Yes, I'm feeling it. Yes, bring me more. Yes, let's do it together. Yes, let's raise our vibration. Let's yeah. dance with the angels. Yeah. I like this. Like, let us know those things and we will share more. All right. I'm going to ask Sue a question now. All right. I'm going to ask Miss Sue Broom a question. Okay. I'm expecting this. I like to turn the tables because remember, I got the card interdimensional thing and think outside the box. Uh -huh. So we're going to turn the tables on Sue. Sue, tell us. Tell us now what really turned you into a woman who talks about angels all the time. What really, what turned me into that? Yeah. Wow. What really got you to like spread your wings and share all this with us? I, I think it was that I wanted to actually share. I was feeling the love from the angels and I, I just really wanted to, shared that with other people because and I I don't want I don't want to always be oh people have to come to sue to find out what their angels have to say I want people to know that you can feel the love of your angels you can get messages from your angels you can do it just like I can and I think the more the closer the angels got with me the more I felt it and the more I wanted to share it Oh, I love that. That's just what I say when like when we start to experience miracles, like the message behind this deck. Oh, I share this on her private group. They love you. Oh, I love you. That that when we get my train of thought to raise the vibration. <laughs> I'm not I can't mostly task on this level. <laughs> All your comments. I'm just gonna experience it. Okay. okay. I forget what I was going to say to Sue, but bring it on, loves. Bring it on. We are doing what Spirit has told us to do. And what Sue is saying is she got this message of the mirror. She felt it. And then she's become, she mastered her own gifts and she, she shares them. That's what happened to me. And when I do these miracle messages and these in these cards, it's because when you become the master yourself of miracles of you and you meet them, then your energy becomes so strong. You turn around and you grab the next person. This one, of course, the angel of love, but you grab the next person. They feel it. They step into miracles. And before you know it, they want to know. And then they become that. And they. And so that's how we do it. We are undercover angels. We go one at a time until we reach mass everything, mass miracles. Absolutely. That's Love it. Love it. Oh, I got to I got to see. Look at that. <laughs> Kevin is sending us such beautiful, beautiful vibrations. I love that. Guys, don't forget, if you do get the deck and I gave you all the qualifications of, of getting the deck, like you've you've like lived through and, and healed such karma that you could actually be on this show today. Like get that first. And then like, oh my God, that, that I could be working with these angels and Sue and Joan, that's the next level and receive these mm -hmm. teachings. Then go to my website, get the cards and say Sue, and then you get that reading for half price of Miracle Activations and they're pretty good. Darsh awesome. good. I just am an activating Miracle Manifesting Machine Woman Oracle some months and March is my birthday month. So I'm like on fire this month. And so please do it to help me grab my own energy. <laughs> oh, let's all, let's all wish you a happy birthday. Everybody can say happy birthday. Yay. Happy yes. birthday month. I made up my mind. I was going to start my birthday early. It's March 16th guys. And, um, let's see. We're not going to guess my age. It's older than you, honey, but you know what? I, <laughs> 
so many lifetimes, we'll just merge it in. Like, okay, it just fits in with those thousands of years. So if you ask me how old I am, I'll say, I've been here. So thousands of lifetimes will say, ooh, like they said a million plus days for sure. Maybe <laughs> lifetime. Wait, I'm really confused now. <laughs> lifetime. Oh, somebody's asking about, um, oh, thank you, Brenda. Thank you, Brenda, put that, put it, put it there. It's the Zebu angelic symbols. And here's the full, uh, Zebu angelic symbols is the deck that I've been using. And yes, Debbie Z is, so, a lot of times she's on, oh, look at all the happy birthdays. Woo -hoo. Let's see. Yay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eat them up. Go to oh, Debbie Z. And wish me happy birthday. John of Angels shop. This is good. Did Debbie Z just hop on? Yeah, she's on. Not her. She, to pull her on, she has Yay. to have a, a, a chrome. She has to be on chrome. Hi, Debbie Z. I'm so happy to meet you, love. I love your symbols. I, I have been working in the last three or four months. When I do stuff with people, I find myself doing symbols. So I so felt the power of them. And, and yeah. Yeah. The Debbie, Debbie, you and Joan need to connect. We already discussed that at the beginning of. <laughs> I've been using your deck, and uh, Debbie, she the I pulled the Grace card, and she was doing the symbol on the screen, and oh my gosh, the energy was phenomenal coming through. So yes, you and Joan of Angels need to connect. Absolutely, Ooh, let's do it, love. Let's do it. Okay, we'll get those symbol uh, angels calling all angels. Coming out, undercover angels unite mm. and remember who we are. Absolutely. All right. <sighs> okay, let's do another one. Are we ready? We have a whole lineup, but you know. Okay, Kelly. And Kelly, I'm, I did not write down your last name, so I don't know if there's if there's multiple Kellys. Pay attention. <laughs> wow. Okay. Kelly Kelly. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, the Angel Runway. You are being called and change is in the air. So they're telling me, no, don't resist it. Don't resist it. Drop your suitcase, drop your baggage, all of those. No, I can't. No, I can't. Yes, you can, love. Yes, you can. <clears throat> Because spirit is saying that in order that change is in the air, say yes, say yes, and let go of anything that no longer serves you so that you can move forward and fearlessly into your destiny. And do you see that? See all the angels going into that angel runway into the light? And they don't have luggage, okay? They don't have all their 3D things. So really ask Archangel Michael to cut it through and clear your field. Fluff your wings, all these cards before, fluff your wings, and go, girl. Say yes. So that's what we got from this end. <sighs> Love it. Oh. Okay. Okay. It's acceptance of optimum, optimum health. I'm going to have to read the whole thing. So, all right. <laughs> All right, uh, it says, I breathe life into my body and envision it as the healthy temple Temple it is intended to be. Oh my gosh, it almost looks like a four-leaf clover too, but you feel the energy coming from that, so it's acceptance of optimum health. Now, the reason I think this is coming up, and this is really, yes, this is for all of us, there are so many of us that, there may be things that our physical body is experiencing. And so we say, oh, I feel this. I am this. And it's like we are optimum health. We have to accept that into our bodies. And this is this goes beyond the physical body. This is the spiritual body. This is the mental body. This is the physical body, mind, body, spirit, all. Because they're all connected. Wow. I am loving this, Joan. <laughs> I, hope you, I hope you all are feeling this. 
It's like, man. <laughs> oh, love it. Yeah. But you can also see everybody how the two cards, these are totally different decks, but they still play really well together. Love it. Love it. You. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Here we are. Ready for another one? I am. And I see some some beautiful friends on the line. Okay, I am ready. Okay, Miss Belinda. Oh, there's Belinda. Yes, Miss Belinda. Well, first of all, what a beautiful name. Very unique name, Belinda. And it starts with the number two. Number two is always about service, confidence, cooperation, courage. Adana. Oh, well, that's interesting. Okay, this is the goddess angel Adana. She's a star being. She came down from the stars to teach the planet, teach humanity, to share her wisdom of divine plants, medicines, herbs, teachings, astrology, tarot, all the ancient mysteries to give people the courage, the confidence, and the ability to do their work. And when she comes through in this way, she's saying, okay, grab, know who you are, develop, feel the confidence in your powers and your skills, radiate your strength, your beauty, your confidence from the inside out. And that will launch your miracles. Miracles will manifest when you set your intentions. Know where you want to go. Don't be wishy-washy about it. But know that this is your time. And you have the, the miracle allies right now. So to your takeaway is to start to feel, channel this information and wisdom through you. All these cards are aligned. Card one, when we started, was the, the masters are coming through. So to really receive this, develop your gifts, start to radiate your beauty from the inside out. All right, Sue, thank you. Your turn. And it's, I love this, divine essence. And it's, okay, sorry, I got it. I, I just can't read it on the screen. I am limitless as my true essence is that of purity and possibilities. And this is totally, this is the expansion. This is, uh, this is who we truly are. And this is what Joan was just talking about, a true essence, the divine essence that we are. And as it expands, it's all possibilities. That's where the manifestation comes in. Absolutely. Love that. The card and do just what I'm doing. There's a lot of energy if you take mm -hmm. these symbols of the card you're working with and you run your fingers over it several mm. times. Yes. I've learned this through ancient mysteries over at a beautiful place called Damanhur. They used to be advanced initiates this work. Yes. Thank you so much for bringing this work through. And Debbie's. It, yes, Debbie's work. And she's got, she's got jewelry too. She does a uh, henna, which I haven't gotten yet. It's on my list. <laughs> And with the spirals in this one, you know, spirals are expansion. So remember that as you expand your divine essence. Interesting. I like to encode my art with sparkles and jewels because I feel like when I put that into the painting and the art and then it the, comes out through the card, you actually can feel they're like little interdimensional beings that align with your energies to help bring that healing to you. Yeah. Oh, Belinda, thank you, sweetheart. Yeah. That's, we, got, we got five hearts. Good. <laughs> we got five hearts. <laughs> yes. Okay. So before I pull, before we uh, do another reading per se, if people don't have the deck yet, Joan. Yes. Is there a way that they can see the artwork or experience the artwork or um, get more in touch with their angels so they can get their own messages? Yes. They can go to that website. 
awakening http slash <laughs> awakening to miracles 2018.com you should be able to see the cards on the right and you can click on you can go to the shop or you can click on see all the cards there will be a place where <laughs> sorry sorry okay. We got it. We got it. Now all the cards are here. But if you go to that website, you will see the cards. And then, beloved friends, I did 44 sessions on YouTube, 44 days of awakening. I took a card a day. Oh, one card I took three times, guys. I don't know why. I just did. I had to label it A, B, and C. But I did messages from these masters. I took you into my sanctuary. How do I even connect with them? So the, they're all on YouTube, 44 Days of Awakening, and that's a free program. And I loved doing that program. And so go to that website, Awakening to Miracles, 2018.com. Did we spell it right? Awakening to Miracles, we did. And hopefully you can find everything there that'll connect you yeah. to these cards. And then go to Joan of Angels shop on Facebook, the uh, Joan of Angels shop. And most of those videos are tucked in on there as well. Yeah. They're, on, they're on YouTube too. You guys can get like tons of stuff on Joan's YouTube about her cards. You can see any of the past readings that I've done because I put the, all the read the weekly readings out there as well. So yes. And, and I'd like to put those up. So they're available on my site too. But now that you're using my cards, I'd like to really help you. Help. So okay. I love that she's using my cards. And I love that Diane on here is using my cards. Susan has my cards. And mm -hmm. there's Susan. So some of you already have the decks. If you like the decks, just if you don't mind making a comment or two, that would be wonderful. Um, you know, let's see. Is there anything else I want to tell you? Yes. Okay. All of you, all of you are miracle masters. You would not be here with Sue and I if you were not into mastery and already have mastered so much and we forget to pat ourselves on the back and go good job joan good job sue like you made it you made it this far Whew! today is march 4th right we made it 2018 we got this far no matter what your mission is you are doing it no matter what your purpose is you are you made another activation moment so i'd love it if you have the cards and i told you i'll, I'll give you that 50% off the miracle activation sessions, which I've been doing for many years. That's how come I could do miracle cards. <laughs> like you do <laughs> run through me. So the more I do the readings, guys, the more I feel miraculous, just so you know. So you help me move energy as we help you move your energy. Anything else I should say, Sue? One day I'm gonna get Sue here in my sanctuary when she comes west to California. Just so you all know, I'm a destination. I can't see her moving. I don't know if I'm the only one moving or not right now. One of us is frozen in time. Hello, Sue. Is it you or is it me? Huh. I can't see. I'm thinking that it's Sue. So I'm going to be a great guest and continue to tell you. Look, I have her on my cell phone, too. I'm at Joan of Angels. Uh, my website, joanofangels.com, Awakening to Miracles, 2018.com. We're working with Miracle Toolkits, how to become a miracle master, how to awaken to miracles within us. And it is funny that Sue and I are both wearing the same scarves. You can get these scarves. You'd have to ask me. But I have the same thing in a medallion. And these are vibration enhancers. These are ways to bring in masters and angelic beings around us well i'm not hearing from sue i'm rambling on and on and on i don't even know if you guys can hear me but i love being on the show may oh where may i get your cards from awakening to miracles okay she is frozen so i'm just going to tell you that i love sue and i love that she's bringing us on i am right now focused back on my cell phone to give you this awakening to miracles 2018 and when you order it in the comments make sure i get your address but say i want that reading and i'll send you a separate link for that that's just you know i offered i don't know they tell me to offer it i do what i'm told 
And that's how I activate miracles. I've been teaching miracles. Right behind me are my miracle books. You would think I'd have them all here for you, but I don't. All right, now. All right, you got that? I did. I'm posting that. Now let's just do a little miracle activation for Sue. Calling all angels. Calling all angels. Let us fluff our wings. Let us master our energy. Let us remember that we came here for a reason and a purpose. We ask right now that that reason and that purpose be filled, that we know who we are, that we are able to manifest our gifts, share them, become that living representation of light and love. I'm so honored that you've been with Sue and myself. I am Joan of Angels also known as Dr. Joan Hangarter. You can like my Facebook page, Joan of Angels Shop, Joan Hangarter, Calling All Angels, and I'm going to be opening up our new Miracle Makers Club where you can share your miracles. I found out about miracles the hard way after I lost everything, and Spirit said, look, Joan, you are going to have to align and be that who you are. They said there's no room for... for um, for, for fakery, for, for fudging it, for just pretending. So I am really honored that you guys are on the show with us. I love you. Please reach out to me, joanofangels.com, awakeningtomiracles208.com. Those videos are some of my best work, and they are absolutely free. I'm honored that spirit came through. If you want to come in and see some of the art, if any of it appeals to you, reach out to me, message me. We can do sessions. Any of our our sessions are always on Zoom. I love to introduce you to the Desert Heart Sanctuary. So have a blessed miracle day. Know that you are not alone, that your guardian angels are with you. And I love you so much. So have a miracle Sunday. I was going to say Miracle Monday. I Look for me. Sign up on my on my page too, because tomorrow, Monday, I am going live. Not quite sure if it's in the morning or evening. Probably Miracle Messages at 7 p.m. Pacific time. But try to sign up if you really want to hear more of this. Love, blessings. May your day be filled with miracles. Always. And let us know how you're doing. Oh, yeah. That's a master miracle right there. That, that cute man. All the arts for sale. Once Sale is not the right word. All the art loves you. That's all I can tell you. Be good, be miraculous, spread your wings, be courageous. Love you.
Okay, everybody, it seems like it's still going and I know Joan is off and I'll tell you what, thank you everyone. I, I've just spent the last 15 minutes un unlocking, unfreezing my computer. I tell you, it is the energy between Joan and I, I can tell you that because it was fabulous. So hopefully you enjoyed it today and I'll put some um, more information in the comments. And Joan says, thank you for being on the program with us and sharing these angelic messages. Feel so loved and blessed. And she wants to give a shout out to Diane Caputo Arenas um, that makes the wonderful wands and also to Debbie Z. So hopefully this is the end of the broadcast and it, it will replay. Yay. Have a great week, everybody. Angel blessings to you. This has been Sue Broom with Joan of Angels as my special guest today.